Hi guys, Berry Babe checking in. Sorry, I got home too late last night to do a to do a face vlog. Um, gorgeous day today. You can see there's a little bit of color. I don't know if I'm sitting right in front of it. A little bit here. The neighborhood is turning. Some people they have this quaint um, custom in my township. I live just outside the city flushing limits. And you um, rake your leaves into the street. And then during leaf season, once every 10 days, they come through and suck them up. Well, you've seen the trees. The whole huge neighborhood is trees. That's one of the reasons that we picked this neighborhood. I wanted trees, one floor, room to store my trailer. Those were my three requirements. And we ended up getting four bedrooms as a bonus. But um, yeah, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of leaves. Now we have woods in the back and my husband just blows the leaves back into the woods. So if you wanna talk about some, it, it's primal. Um, we walked back there when we bought the house six years ago and we haven't been back since. And we've had some ash trees in, in Michigan, the ash borer has killed the ash trees. So they've fallen, so we have a lot of dead wood and it kind of is a, a short strip and then the neighbors have a strip that backs up and then it goes up the hill and almost to the crest of the hill you can look down and see the Flint River. Picturesque, but not some place you want to swim, let me tell you. But that's so far up the hill. I just like it that there's nobody living up there and we own most of the little strip of woods on the left of us. So we have a lot of leaves. So then it usually rains and sometimes it even snows on all these leaves. So the people on one side of the street put their leaves on their side and the other people put their leaves on their side and you have to drive right down the middle and then it'll rain on it and they get sodden. Oh. Usually my husband will mow them and then he just chops them up and blows them. But, um, yeah, we have a lot of leaves. So that's one of the not nice things about having all these gorgeous trees. So um, I'm back on the HCG, but I'm not doing well with food. I'm doing too well with food. Um, I had Diet Coke two days. My ankles are swollen. I'm up two pounds. Tomorrow, I go back to the same old shit mentality. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, my go-to, I'm gonna try to get it under control tomorrow. I'm seriously considering a fast. I don't know if I have enough control this time to put it down. Maybe I have enough control to just put the food down. I did pretty well with the fast the last time, although I don't, I don't know about going 10 days. I have about 11 pounds to lose and, and if I lose like I did the last time, I won't last that long. Um, and I don't want to start P3 until after I'm back from DC, which is the 31st. So back, you know, and I, I, I understand why I'm diddling around. I'm in a safety zone and I'm thinking keto again and I have a girlfriend, one of my girlfriends is really interested in keto. Um, <clears throat> And so I'm going to have some someone in the neighbor, I mean, someone close by that I can compare notes with and help her learn it and we can figure out things together. So I'm excited about that. And another girlfriend, one of the other of the three friends, um, this other friend, both, both, both friends have had cancer. Um, and keto is supposed to be really good for preventing reoccurrence of cancer. So uh, I'm going to keep banging it just like I bang at the HCG till I get it right I'm gonna keep banging at this keto till I get it right because I have always done better in ketosis my mood is better my affect is better the cravings are better everything I, I always talk about living in the purple which when you pee on a keto stick it turns purple if you're in ketosis um, you know I used to tell my therapist I live life in the purple that's why I went through a phase where I just bought purple underpants because that helped me remember every time I went to the bathroom that I like to live in the purple. We need all the reminders we can get. So um, today we went to Lansing. 
uh, East Lansing has is having their um, football game right now in East Lansing, so we took back roads out of there. Um, the tickets for the game are so expensive, and we don't do bleachers very well, so we don't go to the games. My husband's father graduated veterinary school from MSU and didn't miss any home or away games for over 40 years. So yesterday I did, I gave you an HCG boutique haul. I did go to one other place today, well, two other places, but I didn't find anything at the one. Nothing real exciting this time. I didn't wash the ones from yesterday. I did get this one before and I forgot to put it in the picture. It's another one of those little cotton, um, this one smells really strong. It's kind of houndstooth, if they call that, and it's got teal in it. It's pretty. And then, this is an old lady. This is by Blair. This is an old lady. Like, when I don't eat carbs, I'm so cold. This is an old lady over your clothes, but I'm an old lady. And here's an old lady sweater, nice and thick. I used to not wear sweaters much because I would get too warm. And then I did find a little summer chaps, you know I like chaps, light, light, light chaps t-shirt. And I know that looks big on the screen, but it actually is quite snug, just fits. So that's all I have. It's a gorgeous day. We're not in DC. My, I just got off the phone with my daughter who's still having knee problems and the coach has given her heck because she's not... She missed the pumpkin carving last night, team building, and she wasn't there in time today for the team pep talk. Even though she's not playing, she went to the game to support her team. But she turns 26, and you know, I know she's fanatic enough that if she could be playing, she would be playing. And she's had a bad cold, and she's been pushing herself to do this soccer and to have the coach you know when we were when she was in junior high on the volleyball team she's the oldest and so I made a lot of mistakes which she paid for um, it used to be really hard to get an appointment with the woman that cut her hair and in their Guatemalan they have this heavy hair so you didn't miss if you got an appointment you didn't miss and um, the, the coach didn't think that was a good reason for missing a practice. So we drove all the way across town for an away game and she sat on the bench the whole time. And my mistakes, taking her to the doctor, if you miss even for a doctor, you, you know, like dentist, you don't miss for a dentist, you can do dentist when it's not your soccer time, I mean, or uh, volleyball time, just, you know, they did, um, this was junior high. So that was our introduction to the, and I'm sorry if any of you are coaches and have that kind of the team comes first mentality, but the health of the health of your children and your family comes first, I don't care. This is not, these are not professional people. They're not getting paid and she's doing the best she can. She can hardly walk now. So coming here and going there, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm on a tangent, but the team lost today. So had we gone to the game, she said, well, we probably would have still lost, but not by that much if I'd been able to play. So she's feeling bad because she's not playing. Then they're, she's gonna, they're gonna try to schedule her for an MRI on her knee Monday, but she turns 26. Our insurance on her, our excellent insurance on her runs out December 31. She's going to be at school in D.C. until December 17th. So if she needs a procedure on her knee, we don't know. She's going to have to get Obamacare, but who knows? You know, we put $4,000 getting her teeth pegged because she, uh, implants, because she was born without grown-up teeth in two spots. And the, the dental insurance paid some, but... And, it, and because she's independent, but we paid it, she couldn't take it off her taxes. So all this is just, you know, she's still, she's quasi-dependent like a child, but because she's 25 
almost 26, she's considered on her own, yet she's still very much connected. So I know a lot of you have adult children. <laughs> it's nice because both of our girls have within the last while just really expressed to us how grateful they are for this the fairly sane upbringing that they received. Now that they're both functioning as adults, they realize they have good work ethics, they know how to treat people, they have respect for money, um, they realize that there's very little drama in our family compared to other families, even though heaven only knows we have our issues um my husband and i you know not volatile not um you know that part pretty stable pretty stable i've been in and out of jobs and there have been money issues i think there are in every family but um yeah we made it through the other side and they're pretty good adults so it was my goal i chose girls when i adopted and it was my um, hope to raise strong independent women and for the most part that's what I got heaven help me but now that they're getting old enough to come back and meet me peer to peer that's nice I'm glad I lived long enough for that um, I, I am sorry because I never got that far with my mother um, it wasn't really until she was gone did I realize how much you know, I'm very ADD, and so a lot of how I reacted to her, overreacted to her, was on me. So, but in our family, you you tend to give presents to fix things. So if you got, you know, I had a dresser that I had by the front door, and my mother really didn't like it. So for a gift, I got a scarf to put, you know, a dresser scarf to put over that. I said, you don't like that, do you? So you gave me this to cover it up. So that's how we love people in my family. We want to make them the best they can be as we see it. And sometimes you just got to give them a kiss and let them do their own thing. So, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just all over the place. And that's the way it is. So I got to go do a load of laundry. I put in Tide Resolve. Uh, and soap and I wash them through once and then I put them through just with soap for a second time and by that time Usually most of the other people's basement smells are out of the clothes. So if you're looking for any tricks um, And the tide resolves is not always right with the soap powders. I have found it there's kind of a rescue section where they put the the taking the dye out of thing out of clothes and that sort of thing it's sometimes in that section so um, it's getting darker sooner and sooner and I was just in the house downstairs rummaging through my daughter's room she's saying okay I need blah 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 it should be blah 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 do you see it no I don't see it where else am I gonna look you know and um, so there's one thing I couldn't find so she's gonna put my other daughter on it and hope maybe she can find it a little better so that's all I have for now I'm doing okay except I'm sucking at doing the HCG, but my pattern is that one day it clicks and then I'm good to go. It's like I'm just, I just am thinking about I don't know what I'm going to do if I hit goal and then I'm going to have to putter around. I guess I don't need to worry about that until I hit goal, right? Okay, so bye for now guys.